Hello everybody, I am Leah Limro, looking like a hot mess, an everyday mom. I've got a kid in the uh, refrigerator stealing some grapes, but I wanted to show you a quick and easy meat dinner that you can actually put together um, in your multi-cooker. You know, pressure cooking is just coming so far these days. There's so many things that you can do. This multi-cooker can do, I don't know, everything from pressure cooking to soups and beans to proofing bread to desserts to breakfast now and even the new sous vide uh, technology where you actually slow cook under water um, under pressure as well. So the slow cooking sous vide version is amazing. Meats taste so phenomenal when you sous vide cook. But I am doing just a quick meat recipe to go in um, here while I'm able to throw some sides together for dinner. Um, I don't know about you, but I love saving time and I love saving money. And I like things to taste good, but also to be quick and easy so that I can do it with my family, you know, having busy schedules with um, scouts or t-ball or anything else in between. So this is our multi-cooker. It's amazing because it actually has, it's hard to see, but we have a pressure release button down here now instead of near the actual valve up top. So it's safety featured, so you're not going to burn yourself. It also has an on and off switch on the back, and it also has a connecting cord that you can actually uh, wrap around the back of the unit. So that makes it phenomenal. It also now allows us, and you probably can't see it on my video screen. Well, yes, you can. It has a rest for the lid. So you don't have to worry about where am I going to put the lid when I'm checking on it or opening it up or all the steam, where is it going to go? So we actually have the lid here. So I'm going to put that down for just a moment while I show you what I'm going to be making. So I just have um, some beef stew meat, some regular beef stew meat, and I have my kitchen shears right here. And these things are awesome. If you don't have kitchen shears, you guys, you can stretch a buck with these because what I do with my stew meat is, you know, sometimes these chunks are really, really big. And I don't need them that big because then I have to take time to cut them or, you know what, I get too much on my plate and don't eat it all and that's a waste of money. So I literally take the pieces and some are already small so I don't worry about those. But some are quite a bit larger and I just take my kitchen shears and simply cut the meat in half um, or cut it up to the size that I need. Um, and then I actually have my meat prepped. Um, I do try to dry my meat just a little bit before I sear it. Um, because it locks in the flavor and gives a little bit of texture on the outside of the meat. So I'm an everyday cook. I'm not a gourmet chef, but I do know some tips and tricks along the way. Like for example, with your stews and meats and roast, you do want to uh, season them and um, throw some flour on it and then put it on some oil to get some of that texture. Um, so that's my kitchen shears. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm going to take and add just a bit of salt and pepper from our salt and pepper uh, shaker set here. You guys are, uh, this is an, an amazing thing. I have one on my table and you can actually keep one in your kitchen. Um, this is the Himalayan salt. Great, great quality salt as well as good for your health. And then our pepper as well to give it just a little bit of a flavor. Now this is a cute tip for you guys. Okay, so this is our make and take mason jar it's got the cute little pampered chef logo on here it's for make and take stuff like snacks or salads that you can stack up um, and make uh, on the go so that you're taking fresh ingredients with you but i use mine for everything i use it for storing flour for storing coffee for stirring my sugar and even my enrichable packets i store right into these on my counter i love it because it has the uh storage container at top so if you wanted to put cheese or croutons or salad dressing in it on the go you can and i am actually just using this as a trick because to throw on a little bit of flour i don't need to actually measure that out to add to my meat so i am just going to use the lid so i love things that have multi-purposes multi-duty things that uh don't take a ton of time and i'm just going to sprinkle the flour right on top of my meat. Easy peasy, so easy. And then I just shake it back out, and now I just put the lid back on, and I'm not messing up any other containers to have to wash. So now, give me just a second, I'm going to toss this up, but before I do that, I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna put this lid on the other side so I can show you. 
Um, you're gonna start with a little bit of oil. This is our new oil dispenser, super fun right here. And our oil dispenser comes with measurements right up top. So you can use flavored infused oils like our uh, Pampered Chef garlic and, um, well, you can't use the garlic and Parmesan oil in here. If you wanted to just put big pieces of garlic in it, you could do that. But we do have the basil infused oil that you can use in this as well. You have and that one. yes, I do. My bub's telling me you can also put vinegar in it. Um, and you squeeze it and it gives you the right amount. So I have just a little bit of oil up top there. I want to squeeze it a little bit more just to get a little bit more oil. So I want enough oil that's going to coat a little bit of the bottom of our quick cooker so that I can sear this meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in. These are glass bottles and it's super easy to keep on your counter. I'm gonna take my tongs here and just open them up. The great things about these tongs, if you have dirty hands, they are um, gravity release. So if I do them upside down, they're locked and closed because of the mechanism down here. And if I turn it, then it opens because the mechanism opens back down. So I'm just going to toss these a little bit to get the uh, flour on some of that. I'm going to come around so I can see here and turn on the quick cooker here. So we're going to turn it on the sear setting. And the cool thing about the sear setting is there is three levels. And I can choose low, medium, or high. I'm gonna go with um, high for this searing the meat real quick because I wanna do it pretty quickly. And now I hold it for just a second and it's gonna tell me that it is preheating. So it's preheating so that I can do the sear. Sorry you couldn't see me. Um, and while that's heating up, I'm just tossing the rest of this in the flour so it does get that nice sear going. Now you can add onions to this, peppers to this. If you want to add stuff like that into this meal, you can easily do that. Um, I am not. I just want to show you, this is our garlic infused. Look at all of the garlic chunks in this, you guys. Look at all of that yummy garlic. So that's why you can't use it in the dispenser because it would clog the dispenser, but we do have this. So if you want to get this and use the garlic infused, it's a great flavor. I use some of both for all of my cooking. So for this, we're also going to use one can of cream of celery, or if you don't like that, you can use cream of chicken. And I'm going to use, depending on how much meat you use, you're going to use one or two boxes of Lipton um, onion soup mix. Super easy. It's going to make a great gravy. It can go on top of mashed potatoes, on top of rice, or just on the side with veggies like asparagus. So now that I got that coming up to a sear, I'm feeling down here and it's getting a little bit warm here. I'm going to get ready to throw in some meat. Let me test it out. It's almost hot enough. So we're going to get it going. Hey, buddy. All right. So we're going to get our meat in, and it's going to start sizzling. You're going to sizzle for me? Say hi. Hi. Can you see him? Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. That's Brady. He's my little man. He is, how old are you? Four. You are four years old. Do you like when Mommy cooks? Yes. Yay. What do I sell? What does mommy do for work? Um, pampered Chef. Pampered Chef. So he's one of my biggest fans. He loves taste testing things. All right, so I'm going to get some of this meat going in. It should start searing up here. Oh, I hear it now. It's starting to talk to me. It's very light. <laughs> Brady's doing my sound effects. So I'm going to get this in, get the meat going. I'm going to sear it up. And then all I'm really going to do, guys, is open it up and um or keep it open i'm going to add the, the can of soup and the lipton onion soup mix i'm going to put it on custom for 40 to 45 minutes and just let it pressure cook and then i'm going to naturally release it um, which means let it sit for another five to ten minutes um, on its own without releasing the pressure careful it's warm and without releasing the pressure and then it's going to be ready with a gravy and if you need to add a little bit of broth Hi. to uh, make it thinner, you can. Or you can add Hi. a little bit of flour to thicken it if you need to. So I either can. way. And then I will use this 
to uh, mix it up with the gravy. This is our uh, silicone whisk with our uh, for gravies and things like that. I love this piece, and I use it for much more than that. So I will show you the end product as soon. Okay, I'm back with the finished product. I hope it's all good. I haven't tested it, haven't opened it yet. I did make some fresh mashed potatoes using our Flex Plus that I skipped over on this demo. Made some uh, boiled corn. You guys, this is our corn holders, our corn on the cob holders. It comes in a cute little case so you can carry them in the RV camper or just keep them safe and not lost individually in your drawers. It's a cute little pampered chef case. And these are even boil safe. So you can put them in your corn and boil them right away and uh, just take them out with tongs and let it cool off super awesome so we're gonna hit our pressure release it has been releasing naturally for a little while but I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop and then I'm gonna hold down the pressure release just for a minute just for a second if it takes for me now it's gonna say it's releasing so it tells me to be cautious and it's gonna release the rest of the pressure at the top and then I'm gonna open this lid and see what yummy goodness we might have to put on top of my potatoes. All right, should be almost ready. You've got the red indicator button here, and when that red indicator button goes down, that means it is time to open the lid and that it is done with uh, the pressure release uh, area. Smells Sometimes yummy. I get a little bit uh, antsy and try to open it ahead of time but it's almost done here and I, sometimes I might just kind of tap it just to see and it did unlock. So now that it's unlocked, it does talk to me. Remember it, oh my gosh, the smells are amazing when you pressure cook. And remember I did say, oops, now that I've got it turned upside down the way I opened it, I do have my lid holder here. I don't know if you can zoom in into this. Look at all that natural gravy that has formed when I said it would by cooking. So here is your finished product right here. And I'm just going to come right on top of my potatoes and I have a yummy dinner. Thanks for watching.